everyone! So today I thought it would be really fun if my nephew helped me pick out my makeup. So I'll let you see what he picks and then we'll get right into it. Can you pick some things from this drawer? What do you think? I like this color. That one? Okay. How about a couple of other things from there too? Hello. And maybe one more thing from that drawer? Uh, okay. Oh, that's fine. That one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's nice. Oh, can you see this one? Yeah, that one's cool. Okay, maybe one more thing. One more thing. Oh, where is this? This is kind of a very machine. Oh! Oh, Ooh, that's nice. Okay, and how about one of these three? This one. That one? Okay. And don't open it, it's uh, it's loose. So, put it there. Okay. Alright, let's close it. That's good enough from there. I like this oh, one. and that one too? Okay. And that one too? Okay, this one. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I think that was enough. So, let's put these back. Okay. All right. Can you can you pick something from this drawer? What is this thing? It's lip. It's something for your lips. Is it that one? Is this one? <coughs> That's a little one. Yeah, for your lips. What about these? Which one? Um, I like. I like this one. Which one? This one. Oh, the white one. Okay. Can you pick some things from here? I like, like this. You like that? Okay. This is kind of some kind of organized thing. This is. Alright, how about something from this section? Hmm. That one? Ooh, that one? No. Alright. I'll pick this one too. And that one? Okay. And how about something. Something else. One more thing from this area. There we go. Alright, put it down. And what about the this drawer? Oh, can you pick something from that drawer? I'll pick this one because oh. this one's yours. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, I think that's it. Thank you for helping me. For primer, he picked the ColourPop All Star Primer. I just recently posted a video using this and I think it's okay. Like I said in that video, I'm not the hugest fan of matte primers, but I get pretty sweaty in the summer in Japan, so I thought it'd be good for that. And yeah, I think it's okay. So there are some categories where he picked multiple items, so I'm going to try and just use whatever he picked first for that category. So for concealer, he picked the Cover FX Concealer. This is actually my sister's. We're usually the same shade, so I'm just going to use it. Um, I think I've used this once. And... So I don't really have a huge opinion on it, but the time I used it, I thought it was fine. And to tell you a little bit about my nephew, his name is Dylan. He just turned five a few days ago. He is a pretty funny kid. Very smart. Really fun time for his birthday. We took him to Kimball's Farm. And if you don't know what Kimball's Farm is, they're well known for mini golf and ice cream. They have other activities as well. They've definitely added a lot since I've last been there. So he really liked the bumper cars. That was his favorite. We also did a zip line, which went really high. I was a little scared. Try not to show it, but he had fun, so that's good. Oh, and he went on a pony ride. His pony's name was Ice Cream Sunday. Ice Cream Sunday did a very good job. 
very nice horse so that was fun and then after that we just came back to my mom's house and we went swimming in the pool we all had a really great time for foundation he picked this Korean brand one the Som. I'm not sure how to pronounce it I'm sorry I don't really know Korean pronunciation but this is the one he picked so this is what I'm using Yeah, my nephew is really into Paw Patrols. He loves that show, which is fine by me. I can definitely, like, I think it's a good show. Like, I can watch it with him and enjoy it too. So, you know, I like the characters. They're funny. The cats, they're pretty funny. What are they called? The naughty kitty something. I forget. There are definitely some kid shows though that I just really cannot sit through like Peppa Pig. I'm sorry. Can't sit through it. Caillou. He's another one. Can't do it. Are there any kid shows that you really just don't want to watch <laughs> when your kids put them on? <laughs> Is it just me? But recently he's been really getting into Transformers. Like we had a box of my brother's old Transformers and he's really getting into that, which is pretty cool. You know, they're kind of like puzzles, so I definitely see the appeal. Okay, and for powder, he picked this Laura Mercier powder. And of course, the because Toy Story 4 recently came out, he's really into Buzz Lightyear and those guys. What are your kids into? Are they into Paw Patrols? Or something else? I think my skin is looking very nice. I am very pleased with this combo. My nephew's a pretty good picker. So for bronzer, he picked this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. As I mentioned in a previous video, right now I'm in the States visiting my family and I'm actually going back to Japan in a couple of days, so I've just been trying to get all my stuff together, pack everything, collect all the yummy goodies I can. <laughs> I've been taking advantage of eating and drinking things that I cannot get in Japan. And one thing I really want to bring back with me is a lot of tea, which I know sounds strange, but where I live in Japan, they really only have green tea, which is fine. I like green tea, but I want to switch it up every once in a while. And you can go to the import shops and, you know, sometimes you can find like, I don't know, Irish breakfast or Prince of Wales or something like that. But I don't know. I really love the Biglow, um, the French vanilla, I think it's called. That one I love, so I'm definitely going to be taking that with me. So yeah, just been stocking up. So for blush, he picked this Tarte blush in Harmony. It's kind of a neutral, a neutral blush. You know, a lot of people love Tarte blushes, but I don't know. I just I don't. I don't know. I'm not the hugest fan. I think they're fine. I think they're okay. But I think it's because most of the Tarte blushes I've tried are matte. And I'm just not really into matte blushes. I just, I really like a glowy blush. You know, I'm not really into bronzing or highlighting. So, usually just like a glowy blush on my cheek is what I'm looking for these days. 
but he did pick a highlighter so I'm going to be using this pretty vulgar highlighter in the shade Shimmering Swan. I've worn this highlighter a couple of times. I think it's fine. I don't know. I did a video about pretty vulgar items and I really feel like pretty much everything I tried is mediocre except maybe the eyeshadows so but they got pretty packaging so there's that for face spray he picked this Too Faced hangover spray this one is actually in my project pan and I'm trying to finish it before I go back to Japan I don't know if I'm gonna Okay, and actually, I think I just realized he did not pick an eyebrow product for me, so I'm just going to use this Too Faced one, um, this ColourPop one. This is the Brow Boss in the shade Taupe, which I am so happy is a great color match for me. I don't really understand. I mean, I get why it's a hard to find a match in Japan. Like, obviously, there aren't many people with light-colored hair like mine, so I totally understand. But I've gotten pencils from brands that are available in America and other countries and still having trouble finding a match. I don't know what it is. What's up with that? And eye primer, he picked the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, another thing in my project pan that I'm trying to use up. I love this primer. It's my favorite primer though, so I'm not really mad that it's still here. Okay, and then the eyeshadow palette he picked was this Too Faced palette. So since we kind of have a neutral blush on, I'm gonna go with like the brown colors. Hmm, let's see. So I'm gonna start off with Divinity all over the lid and under the brow. Next, I'm going to take Mocha and put that in the crease. Another thing that I'm trying to do while I'm in the United States is catch up on my shows. So when I left a couple years ago, I was in the middle of watching some shows and you can't get Hulu in Japan, and you can get Netflix, but some of the stuff is obviously different, like they have more Japanese stuff on there, but some of the things are the same. So I wasn't able to finish some of my shows, so they just recently added the originals and Once Upon a Time to Netflix, so yeah, definitely. I finished Once Upon a Time, finally. And now I'm working on the originals, so I'm trying to get that finished before I leave. And then other than that, there are some like, you know, adulting things I have to do while I'm here. Oh, I'm taking Malted and I'm going to put that in the outer corner in the crease as well. My husband and I are going to try to apply for a marriage visa. I'm in Japan on a work visa right now, uh, but work visas do not last forever, so <laughs> it's going to expire next year in June, so we definitely have some time, but, you know, we want to get that all squared away before that happens, so I've just been trying to collect, you know, paperwork and pictures and all that stuff you need to apply. Yeah. So yeah, I've been doing that. Now I'm going to take molasses chip and put that all over the lid. I 
I have to say, adulting in another country is definitely far more difficult than adulting in your home country. But that's okay. I, I really like Japan, so, you know, we're very fortunate enough to have a house and, you know, a car. I can't drive, though. <laughs> My husband can. Not yet. Working on that, too. And now I'm going to take a dark truffle and put that on the outer corner. Okay, I think that's going to do it for eyeshadow for now. For eyeliner, he picked this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Best Zero, Best O, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to do this on camera so I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll come back. So that eyeliner does transfer so I'm going to set it with an eyeshadow. I'm going to set it with this Bordeaux shade. I kind of messed up on the eyeliner in this line but oh well. I don't want a dark color on my lower lash line, so I'm gonna use this Urban Decay pencil. He didn't pick this, but I'm gonna bring it in. And now I'm going to take Mocha and smudge that on the lower lash line. So I didn't have him choose a mascara, I'm just going to use the one that's in my project pan. This is the ColourPop mascara. I didn't want to open another one, I just I want to finish this one and also I don't really feel comfortable using one of my sisters. I, I don't mind sharing makeup but I just think maybe mascara is not something you should really be sharing. Just my opinion. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with my sister, but you know what I mean. And last but not least is lips. He chose this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Havana Nights. I have never tried the Ofra liquid lipsticks. I don't even think I've tried anything from Ofra. I think I have a lip liner from Ofra, and I think maybe that's like the only thing I've tried. I don't think I've really ever tried anything from Ofra. It's a very dark shade. <laughs> I don't normally wear like super dark shades, sometimes like in the fall and winter, but definitely not in the summer. But that's okay. This mirror is not working, I'm making a mess. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to do that again with the lip liner and even still it kind of still looks like crap. This liquid lipstick is very unforgiving if you have any wobbles. But anyway, so this is the finished look of all the products that my nephew picked out for me. I think he did such a great job. I'll see you next time. Bye!